Good evening, everyone. And just as we started last week, it's Tuesday, so it's time for Tuesday's Thoughts. Just a short devotional. Um, tonight, we're going to go to Romans chapter 10. It's a passage that a lot of us might be familiar with, and some of us maybe not as much. I just want to share a little from my heart. So Romans chapter 10, starting at verse 9, that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. As the scripture says, anyone who trusts in him will never be put to shame, for there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all and richly blesses all who call on him. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then can they call on the one they've not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. In Romans 10, 9 and 10, those first two verses I read are very uh, familiar verses. If you've maybe uh, witnessed to someone, led someone to Christ, or... Maybe if you yourself, you're, um, when the person who witnessed to you and led you to Christ, you remember those verses. Or maybe you're watching this and you don't really have a personal relationship with Jesus and you've heard those before and you weren't sure what it meant. Confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Ask for forgiveness of your sins and you will be in the kingdom of heaven with Christ forever. And I wanted to go a little further for those of us that are maybe a little further along on our Christian faith where it talks about, but how will they know if they haven't heard? So we know the verses 9 and 10, you know, how to tell someone, hey, um, believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord. Um, you will be saved. We also know a passage, 1 John 1, 9, we know talks about if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us. And all those kind of go together. But if you go from verses 11 on there for that little section, it's talking about how will they know unless they are told. And as believers, those of us who are Christians and have a personal relationship with Jesus, tonight I just wanted to send out a reminder and a challenge that we are to share the gospel. Last night, I had a guest post from Jordan Henshaw. It's actually my son. And he talked about how we may be the only Jesus some people see. They're not going to go into a church. They're not going to have a conversation even. So if you interacted with somebody at a store today, I know some of us are still at, at home orders, but maybe you got out for a moment, maybe even on the phone. Did your actions show that you are different? Because maybe you got the wrong item. Maybe something needed returned. Maybe uh, they weren't handing out you know, the, the, the proper materials that you needed. Did you treat everyone involved in a godly manner? Because you might have been the only witness of Christ that they were ever going to see. You already did the first part, 9 and 10. You believed in, the, in your heart. You've, 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 you've given your heart to God, but now you need to live it out. And not only live it out, but you need to live it out to where you're sharing the gospel with others on the phone with the telemarketers, in person at the counter when we're purchasing, purchasing things, returning things, on the street when we bypass someone who seems a little rude, that could be our only encounter with that person ever. And that might be the only time that they see somebody who's living for Christ. Did we do what we should do? How beautiful are the feet who bring good news? Are we bringing good news of Christ everywhere we go? I love that this passage is together, Romans 10 verses 9 through, I, I believe it's 14. I love that it's all together because the first part is here's how you, you give your heart to God. Here, here's what you do, but now here's how you need to keep it going. And we're not supposed to just receive Christ and to keep it to ourselves. We receive Christ, we become believers, but then we're supposed to share it. Share the gospel. Share the good news. Be Jesus to everyone that we meet. How beautiful. I said it again and I'll say it another time. How beautiful are the feet of those. How will they know unless they're told? How do they know if, if we don't send them? You know, if we, don't, if we don't help someone, if we don't share Christ, we might not have five minutes to give the ABCs of salvation or a whole message, but we have five seconds to smile when someone is having a rough day and show the love of Christ in everything that we do. Show the love of Christ everywhere we go. Show the love of Christ 
through our lives. That's my challenge for you tonight for Tuesday's Thoughts. Romans is a great book, a lot of challenging things in it. Maybe read the whole chapter there, chapter 10, and just uh, dig in. If you're watching this and you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, reach out to someone that you might know that is a Christian. If you don't know anyone, we are here for you. You can contact us through Messenger on Facebook where you're watching this video. You can contact us through our Instagram. You can email us at one on one with Jesus, all words, at hotmail.com. And we are not here to ask for anything from you except your words. We just want to listen and we want to help. We want to show Jesus to all of you. So I hope you guys have been challenged tonight. Remember, be Jesus everywhere you go. How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Stay in the word, keep the faith, and until next time, have a blessed evening.